So here we can see the amplifier chip that's on the Bluetooth board. You can see the speaker output down on the, in the right hand corner there. Uh, it's difficult to see what the device is. A little bit more illumination. And we can see just about that it's an NS4150, which is a little 3 watt uh, amplifier chip that we need to change. Burned out after about uh, 18 months diet of ACDC, Iron Maiden and uh, Judas Priest. With a bit of ZZ Top thrown in for good measure. And it finally gave up the ghost and we're just going to see if we can fix it. Well, being the glutton for punishment that I am, I do like to try and tidy up the pads uh, by hand with a, a soldering iron. Uh, just applying some some flux. Find that that helps. And with the finest tipped soldering iron that I have, let's just uh, see if we can make sure those. Pads aren't, uh, aren't bridged. Apologies for the DTs, but this is an extremely difficult process. And we're ready to put in the new chip. So now with the new chip in, in place, just uh, tapped on there, just going to apply a little bit more flux. You never have enough. And then we can tack down the rest of the pins. Just going to turn the board around to do the other side. So, now for the acid test. So here we have the Bluetooth uh, speaker just loosely lashed up together just to check that it works before reassembly. So let's see what happens. That sounds good, got the connection there, connected to my phone. So let's just play something to, uh, to test it. <laughs> 